Hey you all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ragini and in today's video I am going to share with you the importance of memorizing the scriptures. Are you all ready? Let's get started. When we memorize scripture, we have God's word hidden in our hearts. We are able to use this in the face of temptation and resist the devil. Amen. Number four, memorizing scripture helps us to know the truth and keep us from error. In the book of Matthew chapter 22 verse 29, Jesus said to the Sadducees when they were trying to trap him because they were also testing our Lord. You are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. That was the response of our Lord Jesus to them. People who work at a bank have to handle money every day. They have to be able to tell a counterfeit not apart from a real not. They do this not by spending time looking at different types of fake money, but by being so familiar with the genuine article that they know every minute detail. That way, when they are presented with something that is fake or false, they will immediately be able to spot discrepancy because it differs from the real thing. In the same way, spending time in the scriptures and knowing it, and knowing it off by heart allows us to know the truth and when we are being presented with something that is counterfeit. Because there are so many apostles, there are so many preachers, there are so many false teachers out there. And I can say this for myself because when I was very new in my beginning of my faith journey, when I was saved, even I was tossed and turned around from one place to another. And when I started reading from the Old Testament, I started applying it and interpreting it my way because I didn't even know the meaning of context. And knowingly or unknowingly, you may end up hurting others because you're very new in your faith and you're eager to preach the truth and help others to know the truth. But if it's not in context, we're basically just doing things that's against the will of God. When the devil was trying to tempt Jesus in the wilderness, he used scripture out of context. If Jesus hadn't been familiar with these passages, he could have easily thought that the verses sounded about right and made sense. Knowing the truth helped him to focus and keep his mind fixed on the things that mattered. In the same manner, when we read the word of God and memorize it, at certain temptations or situations, we can defend ourselves. And not only that, but the Holy Spirit will remind you and lead you to share that specific scripture with somebody. So it's good to memorize scripture and know a verse word for word. It's also prudent to know the proper context in which it should be used. That way you will know when someone is giving a teaching that is contrary to the Bible and it will keep you from error. The book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 31 says, The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. If we have scripture on our hearts, it will help us not to slip. Number five, memorizing scripture is our weapon against spiritual attacks. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13 to 17, Apostle Paul talks about putting on the full armor of God during our struggle against the spiritual forces of evil. He says, yes, we are dealing with spiritual warfare um, even today, right? We don't see these demons and devil and they exist and we don't give them any glory or praise, of course. But the word of God shows us and tells us these things exist. Jesus himself casted out demons out of people's bodies. So let's read this. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckle around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. The Bible tells us we're not dealing with flesh and blood, but with principalities. Then in verse 17, he mentions specifically, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, that means the word of God, the scriptures, of all the pieces of the armor of God listed, the sword of the spirit is the only offensive weapon mentioned. The others are defensive. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. That's why anybody teaching or preaching that is contradicting to the Bible, it's not from God. It is as simple as that. We can do the same if we are being fed the lie that we, God can possibly love us because we have blown it or failed him. We can answer the devil. Romans chapter 8 verse 38 to 39. For I am convinced neither death 
nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present, nor the future, nor any powers, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let's check Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Bible also says that our mind is a battlefield and the enemy also plays games in our mind. He doesn't come with the red face and horns physically, but he plays with our mind. He brings condemnation. You cannot do this. They will never love you. You will never be able to uh, be successful. All the negative things. That's why we need to have the mind of Christ. And the word of God shows us exactly who he is and what he says about us. And how we can overcome the tactics of devil through his word. Amen. Number six, memorizing scripture helps us the hope we have in us to others. Because there are so many people they will ask you, how come you have changed? What is your testimony? How come you're a Christian no more the way you were before from different backgrounds? You need to have the answers, right? 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15 says, But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Revere means deep respect. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. Always be ready because there will be people who know you and they want to ask you, you were not like this before. Your beliefs were dif different. What made you change? What is the difference? Sometimes people may have questions about your faith that they can spring upon you at a moment you are last expecting. Or you may encounter a situation where you need to defend your position yourself or your faith. While you can simply explain the concepts involved, it is better to be able to point out to specific Bible verses as evidence to back up your claims and to support your position that will provide a certain amount of authority. You may miss the opportunity to share your knowledge and your faith if you can't remember the passage or going around in your Bible desperately trying to find it. And then you are focused not on the conversation anymore, but locating the passage. The time is gone and the person is still waiting for your answers. When you have the scripture already memorized, you will be able to call it to mind immediately. Or rather, the Holy Spirit can bring it to mind so that you can speak this out to others. The moment someone says or asks you something, you can have a ready response. Last but not the least, point number seven, memorizing scripture increases our faith. The word is Romans chapter 10 verse 17. When we commit a verse to memory, part of the memorization process can involve speaking it out and repeating it over and over again. This has the effect of building up our faith in a twofold way. First of all, we're gaining a greater knowledge of scripture through repeated exposure and familiarity. This goes without saying. So repetition of the scriptures to memorize. Or writing it down because scientifically when you write down something uh, similar like 20 times or 21 times you are bound to remember it more often uh, and that's how I operate I can say if I want to learn or know something I will write it down again and again because it helps you to memorize faster so in today's video these were the seven points that will help you to know the importance of memorizing scripture or the Word of God and in my next video, I will be sharing with you some of the ways how I use to memorize the scripture in its context. So make sure once again you're subscribed to this channel. That way you will get notified on time whenever I upload the new video. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you and lead you to memorize his word. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, you guys take care. God bless you all and always stay rooted in Christ. Bye.